a ringside national championship. Please welcome Antonio Urista. And over here in the red corner of the ring, boxing out of the Trigger Boxing Club, Traverse City, please welcome Javon Barnes. Well, there's the Round one. And you're watching WKTV. Barnes goes immediately to his normal normal style. I mean, this is a guy, we, we talked about this at our last uh, tournament session, very slippery, very hard to catch, very hard to hit, uh, just moves like a pro in that ring and really has the experience and the knowledge to know how to use that ring. Yes, he does. Eurista is, is looking like he's doing a really good job again in the blue gloves, blue shorts. Mm -hmm. um, looking like he's doing a good job of trying to keep up with uh, Javon Pinky Burns. You used to just got a nice couple jabs in. Javon. Well, you used to got a couple of them in there as well. Mm -hmm. See that snake-like movement that Javon Burns does. Javon doing a good job of keeping his jab out there, keeping uh, Eurista at the end of it. Eurista looks like he's really trying to figure out a way how to get in close. Because in order to win this fight uh, against Javon Burns, his opponents need to be up close and um, kind of personal. Oh, uh, yeah. Because Javon, again, I, I've said this, he has some of the longest arms I've ever seen, and he knows how to use them. Again, if you just look at the style of Barnes, I mean, he hasn't thrown too many rights yet, just really using that left hand, using the jab, throwing a few hooks in there sort of taunting his opponent. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. And again, that's the slipperiness of uh, Barnes. I mean, he's really a skillful, he's a master of getting out of the way. Got a little hugging, holding. Mm-hmm. Actually by both athletes. Again, Devon just, again, continues to pick up points. A nice left hook. Again, just using that jab, just at will. Scoring every time he uses it. Score three points on, on that combination. Oh, yeah. Antonio didn't see it coming. So you see how he just kind of slipped? You know, you're staring your toes like that, and you're really scared. You reach that. Doing a good job of trying to fight in that clinch. Yes. Yeah, Reese is coming at him a little aggressively. But he's just running at him. We're trying to tie him up. You know, in order to, to, to win at this game with Devonta, and that's the truth. Here we go, start of round two. So 152 open pound division. He's just got such a, a long reach, that Javon. Oh yeah, we got a nice connection though by you on that on that left hand, that last combination. Oh yeah, he's getting an inside. If he can continue to. Oh, again. Javon connecting with that left, right to the body. Eurista making a connection of his own. Oh, big connection by Eurista. Both fighting in the clinch. Antonio looks like she's a little bit more confident now. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna still, he's gonna bring it to him now. It's still difficult. Javon got a reach. Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult reach to get um, over or under or around. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have a master that knows how to keep it out there.
got a little action still um, slowed down just a little bit, but still more action going on. Yeah. Barnes probably knows he's uh, ahead on points at this point and just going uh, to just kind of cruise through this round. And we'll probably see it turn up by oh, both athletes in the last and final round. Yeah. Hopefully uh, Barnes can't underestimate him. Again, nice jab work by Burns. Mm -hmm. Kind of loading up that right hand, though, Burns. Both fighting in the clinch. Yes. No points gained, though. Can't gain points while you're holding. Again, more jab work done by Burns. Oh, oh Burns snuck that? that uppercut right up the center. Yeah, the holding and Barnes still just throwing those punches. Look how smooth Barnes is. Here's that bell. And here we go again. Mm -hmm. Third and final round. Barnes coming straight out, you know, tripling up that jab, trying to get something set up. Nice connection by Eurista. Yes, it is. Barnes trying to pick a good shot. Oh, see how Barnes just makes his opponent miss? Mm-hmm. He's just so slippery. He's a master at it. Oh. Big right hand by Barnes. <laughs> you used to stand in the game, though. Oh, yes, he is. He's still sizing him up. Well, yeah, you used to still trying to figure out a way to actually end right there. Once he gets in, he needs to stay in, not stay in too close, but right. stay in close enough just so that he can get some, some work done in there. Right. I think Eurice is trying to go for the head. He needs to also try to get to that body as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. That's a big shot by Eurista. Oh, yeah. Barnes can't said, underestimate it. No, but he doesn't seem to be faced by it, though. Mm -mm. Yeah, nice jab work by Eurista. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh really nice right here. Right. Uh-huh, by Eurista. Looks like Barnes' uh, lip has been busted. We got some blood coming from the lip of Barnes? I believe so. Gonna have to do something. More connections by Eurista. Oh, that Eurista was flirting with those combinations. Barnes did a comeback. Crowd is loving this action. Barnes seems like he's gonna just force the fight now. He's putting more pressure on Eurista. Wants to look good as we wind down round three. Final round. Oh, Barnes is bleeding from the nose, Allie. Well, you know what? I, I do know Devon Barnes personally, and, and there's that final bell, but he, I, he does what I'm going to call a bleed. Your winner, boxing out of the red corner, Trigger Boxing Club, Javon Barnes. And Javon Peaky Barnes takes the win.